I don't know if I ever really filmed this or not. I may have uh, inadvertently when I was filming something else, but what this is is about a well, it's it's a pre-1929 Chevrolet. Um, I don't know what it is, 28 or 24 or 5, somewhere in there, but um, Chevrolet came out with the six-cylinder in 1929 that is like the engine in my that's in my hot rod. But uh, what's interesting about this thing is the uh, you know they had overhead valves even back when they made the four cylinder it was overhead valve engine there's a little Chevy bow tie there and uh, like mine I need to post the video because I went through mine and I took pictures of all the bow ties on that thing they're just everywhere on it on the flywheel uh, I'm sure there's one on there uh, this is a uh, it's got the job number on the on the tag here, um, the body number, 1622. And uh, another kind of an interesting thing, this is not the grill shell, of course. That, uh, I believe, is Oldsmobile. Correct me if I'm wrong, Greg. I think that's what you said. And I want to show you, Greg, the, uh, you were talking about a fender bracket, and there is one on it. Sorry, there's only one. But, uh, Another interesting little thing about this engine is the uh, throttle was set up. It ran down through the um, steering shaft and there was a little lever in the center of the steering wheel that you'd pull down for the throttle and it worked this this uh, lever here. It goes all the way through the block and up to the carburetor on the other side. And um, these had a downdraft, I mean an updraft, excuse me, an updraft carburetor on them. But I thought that's kind of interesting how they ran the linkage and the oil line and everything right through the right through the box. I don't know if you can see all the way through there or not, but also right here is a, a wasp nest, and these came out in 1929 as well, uh, or prior to 29 because there's one here, and there's also one here. This was a this was what was known as a dual uh, wasp nest engine, and uh, look at those big spark plugs, great big hummers. That's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit about this old engine that sits here, and I found it down in the, actually down in the canyon, half buried in the ground down there, and it had a, yeah, it didn't have wasp nest, it had uh, honeybees in it. <laughs> it had a, there's part of the old honeycomb right there. So it's not a honeycomb radiator, it has a honeycomb firewall, and uh, here's the old Start a button, the old push button on the floor, and the throttle, and uh, there's too many wasps here, I'm not going to mess around, but I wanted to see if there's a, if locate the bow tie on this uh, flywheel, I don't, I don't see it, um, I'd have to look for it, I, I saw it on mine, when I had mine apart, but, uh, so there you go, just a little bit about the, this old rig that sits here on my driveway, there's a little gauge cluster, and uh, I don't know, I love old iron. I don't care what it is. Some of these guys like to get into a Ford versus Chevy thing or Mopar or whatever, and I just don't, I don't play that game. I, I just like old iron, I like them all. Um, I kind of know a little bit more about working on old Chevys, like the old 235s and stuff, because that's what I grew up with. That's what my dad happened to have, but we own a lot of Fords too. And, uh, and I've owned a lot of Fords, and there's another bow tie right there. So I don't have a thing in the world against Fords or Dodges or any of them. I just like old, old rigs. And uh, you know, there's some people that get real. I don't know if you call it passionate about it. I guess so, but whatever. I just don't. Uh, I don't get into that because I like them all. Look at this body by Fisher. That's cool. That little plaque. Anyway, there we go. Speaking of, uh, you know, not being hung up on Chevys or Fords or whatever. Um, <laughs> this is a poor man's ATV. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not a Chevrolet. Uh, I'm going to go down there and take another little video. 
of uh, what we're looking at right over there. If I can get it in my viewfinder. Yeah. 1939 Dodge truck. Dooley. Thanks for watching.